Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have this problem called replace employment ID with the unique identifier. It's the first join problem. Most of the problems were, were select. Um, this one is, uh, <coughs> sorry. This one is the first uh, join problem. So we have um, two tables, employees and employee uh, UNI. Um, we have the ID and the ID in the primary key. We have name is a character and um, each row of this table contains the ID of the name. Okay. Um, we have the column name, we have the ID also, and we have a unique ID, something called the ID and unique ID. And this one, it's in this primary table key for the table. Okay. Each row of this table contains the ID and the corresponding unique ID of an employees in the company. Mm, okay, okay, so write a SQL query to show the unique ID of each user. If a user does not have a unique ID, replace just show null. Okay, if it has no unique ID replace, we just show null. Return the results table in any order. We don't care about the order. The query result format in the in in, in the example we should be like that. Mm -hmm. The output should be we have a unique ID and name. Okay, so let's just let me just take this because I like the code takes most of the space. Let us just see what we're going to select. So we select. Let's just look at the output. We should select these two variables because these two variables that we are um, putting as output. So I will say select. Give me this unique ID. Oh, copy, paste, and give me also the name. Okay, so the first we know what we are selecting. Okay, and as I say always, we should put the the the, the SQL problems into small steps. First step, know what we are selecting, what we are returning. So we we selecting the unique ID and the name, and we put them. After that, we should we want to know that um, from what we are returning the employees. So from the employees, okay. From employees, and I will refer with the employees with e, okay. And I will do something called lift join. And I will I will say what left join means. And I will join um and I'll say why left join and I will join the employee you and I. Okay, and I will give it a reference with you. Okay, and I will say that okay on give me anything on E of ID equals U dot ID. So let us and just test the code first. Okay, it beats 90%, decent. Let's talk about the code. So first of all, we have select. So the select statement specify the columns to retrieve from the result of the join. It is, uh, in this case, we selecting the unique ID and the name, okay? Uh, the form, the from, uh, this one specify the primary table, which is employees. Uh, from which record we will retrieve it and it will give it its allies uh, an E and um, This one the left join I get this is new the left uh, The left join keyword indicates that all records All records from the employees table should be included in the results regardless of whether uh, They have matching records in the employee uh, you and I or not Okay and the last thing, which is the on, the on keyword specify the join continuation. It uh, states that the ID column in the employees table should match the ID column in the employee UNI uh, table. So these are the four steps. It's a pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but just as we see all the time, just keep sure when we build a SQL table, when we build a SQL, SQL query with join or words with with uh, select whatever it will be just to, to keep it um keep it into 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 um into steps 
to make it easier for us so that's it for this video if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problems